Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, I'm seeing Ace of Wands and I'm also seeing Ten of Swords. This feels like something is now over. It can be like you you had been worried about something or stuck on something, but I'm not really seeing it be an issue any longer. It looks like before you could have been like involved with or doing something that you didn't want. It could have felt like it was the opposite of what you wanted. So there was an opportunity, but seeing it be like Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups reversed, and also the Devil, you could have felt like like being part of this or connecting with this it would not be aligned with what you want on a deeper level it seems to like it would be something where you're like this like this isn't benefiting me or i don't feel like this is promoting something that i want to promote and on top of it like i don't even like this it would be like something like that I'm seeing eight of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this would be you realizing like, that's not gonna get me what I want. Like that was never going to get me what I wanted, you know? Like how you can see this too is like, there could have been this part of you where, let me rewind. Starting off with ace of wands is like, okay, here's a potential door that I could be going through. Ten of Swords is like, the situation is over now, so I'm not really seeing it be a thing anymore. But Ten of Swords can be like, I was sort of struggling to get to this point where there was something challenging or there was something difficult about allowing this to close out. Having Nine of Cups reversed is like, something wasn't even what I would have wanted, like that type of thing. But because of the way that the devil is looking at it, like you could have been like, tricking yourself into thinking that, you know, or like influenced in some way where you were like, maybe that's something that I want, but it's like not, it's not really aligned. This is like, I see this as being something that there could be a part of you that thought that you wanted this, but it wouldn't, it's like thinking that it's gonna be really, really like satisfying to get something and then you get it. Like, let's say you, you really think that you want an orange, okay? And you finally get the orange and you bite into it and you're like, this is not satisfying at all. Like, I thought that I wanted this so badly. I don't even want this. It's like, you're gonna throw the rest of it away. It's like one of those situations where it was like, I really, really thought that this was the thing for me. I really, really thought that I wanted this, but it was just this, the devil being, it's like that part of you that was attached to something, but for these types of reasons, you know? something that's not hitting you on a deeper level. And so once you get that thing, it's like, I really thought that this was gonna be the answer, but it's not. But the devil would have you thinking that it would be until you take that bite and you're like, wow, this isn't really what I thought it was going to be. Like I'm actually, it just comes back to that feeling of like, this really wasn't the answer. This isn't the answer, this wasn't the answer. I thought that it was gonna be in some way. But the devil is that part of us that's like, you can take this way in order to get that thing that you want. And then it doesn't like satisfy us on a deeper spiritual level. And so it can be like, yeah, I'm getting something, but there's not that like underlying component that I'm looking for. So even on the surface level, it can sort of skim something. And that's sort of how it gets you pulled in in the first place because the devil isn't just like making things up and it's completely like has no basis at all. It's something that's based in truth for us. And we are trying to sort of 
like solve a problem when we're going in that direction of this is what I perceive I want this is, I'm going to feel like I have that thing like once I have that thing but then you get to that point and be like why isn't that like fullness of that feeling like really materializing for me or like the fullness of that experience really materializing and you just feel like it like you stay wanting within that because it's not like the re it's not really what you're looking for but you've convinced yourself that it is just in a moment it can be like a, just a thought where you're like is that true like is that actually resonating with me you know like that type of thing but now i'm seeing you get to the point i'm hearing within the discussion where you're like okay now i'm coming around and i'm realizing this that like this isn't i thought that this was going to be the experience that i was looking for but it's not really And you could even feel like something has like partial ingredients that you wanted, but not like all of the ingredients, like that type of thing. So I mean, this is like a bit of a repeat situation I'm seeing as well. I do feel the way that I'm seeing this is that you could have almost felt like this was all for nothing in a way but it's not. This told you something very important. It's showing you where you're still holding on. This may be something that you're still not completely, I don't know, there can be some resistance here. I'm seeing something about like Disney or Mickey Mouse. See in this Ace of Wands, doesn't it look like the face and the little ears. So you can be recognizing all of this, right? And seeing how I feel the way that this energy is coming through it's like you're holding something that like you did whatever you did in order to acquire this right and you have it in your hands and like you know that you don't like this orange but the way that the devil and the four of pentacles is you may be like reticent to throw it away for some reason like still holding on to it maybe you're like maybe i can come around and learn to like this you know or something like that but i don't really think that's the case here this feels like something more where you could just feel like you're stuck with something now, how this is, but it's like not really something that you want. So what happens now? But I, you're not like actually stuck with this. That's the thing. Like you have a choice here. Kind of feels like the energetic knockoff of something so you may be like oh well it's better than than nothing because i don't think that i can really manifest the real thing i'm getting like something like that maybe also there's a way to sh sort of turn this situation actually into something else for yourself but i'm getting that like in order to sort of like free up space energetically for yourself you may need to sort of allow this to go where it needs to go rather than not allowing it to fall away or do whatever else it wants to do. Because I, I think that this point being like this is like holding on to that thing that you know is not really it, but you're like, eh, like better than the alternative. But it's like, I think that you're lowballing yourself here with this because the actual alternative is this which means that you really could be acquiring what you want on that deeper level and by you holding on to this thing that isn't like the actual experience that you want it's like you're you're actually like stopping yourself from being able to experience that thing that you actually want it's sort of like playing it safe but in a way where I think you're gonna get tired of this or like bored of this because it's like not the real experience even if it can be like a partial aspect of the experience 
because like you can have the real thing but by you trying to sort of like control or manipulate or have your hand in something and not allowing it to sort of go where it's meant to be going that's what's stopping this process from benefiting you more so like this could be this situation really could be benefiting you but being stuck in this place of still not fully being ready to let go which is just is what it is that's where you are within the process I almost feel like you're not ready to see yourself how you actually are like nine of pentacles is you like being so capable of doing like magic with the situations that you find yourself within because there's like there's so much room for opportunity here that i'm seeing and nine of pentacles is you knowing that you really have what you need to do what you want with this i think too that like having this card of liberation here this is judgment but in this deck it's called liberation this is you recognizing that within yourself like oh i can accomplish that or i can do that or i can make that happen you know but i think you're almost like not seeing yourself so much why is that because it seems like you're looking out at something outside of yourself rather than at yourself and you're like well this situation isn't like giving me what i want but it's really like you not giving yourself what you want here by being like reliant on whatever outside thing this is, thinking that that's going to do that for you. But I'm seeing that you have like much more control and like power within this than I think you're allowing yourself to see at this point because there's still that sense of like, I'm being controlled by like this outside thing rather than recognizing like you are the nine of pentacles. That means like you, you basically are the one with the remote control in your hand, but I think at this point you may be thinking that it's something else. So it looks like taking the time to actually realize that. I'm hearing the word punctuation. Maybe this is too about coming to terms. I want to say this again, the way that I'm seeing this, there is something that there is like this, this part of you, the devil is this part of you that thinks that something outside of yourself is going to be the answer for you within this situation and not looking inward. So it's continuously like looking externally. I'm getting this isn't just in general. This is about a specific thing here. You may this part of you like has yourself convinced that this thing on the outside is like really going to be the answer for you even though it looks like ten of swords it's like the situation didn't work out nine of cups is actually reversed so it's like even if you did get that thing it would it would not be that whole full experience that you're actually looking for so it's like you would fight tooth and nail for this thing get it and then be like this isn't even what i want like that type of thing but having this part of you that is connected with that sense of attachment to this outer thing, it's like, but I still got to try to hold on to this. You know, I just can't let it go. And in you not letting this go, that's actually the thing that's like trapping you. So it's stopping you from being like liberated within this situation because this thing is still controlling you, which is so wild too, because like it's not even actually what you want. But that part of you that's like, this has got to be the answer. Like, what else could it be? You know, that still is like looking everywhere else except for where you're meant to actually, where you're going to actually find that answer, you know? And that's what it's still stuck on. Because I think you just haven't gotten to the point yet up here within the spread where there's been that like realization. And I think too, part of why you may be struggling to get to that point is because emotionally some stuff has still not been processed. And it's about there being pain, like this concept of pain that you're experiencing that's associated with something not working out. Because I'm seeing nine of cups and I'm seeing three of swords. So this can be like, like I really wanted this thing and now I'm feeling pain, now I'm feeling suffering because of not getting this thing that that I perceived I wanted, you know, that I perceived was going to be the answer for me. 
and having the devil and having justice it's sort of like this is actually it's sort of just like a karmic cycle that's playing out when that's the type of game that you're playing and rather than teaching you to try to hold on to this thing that's actually creating a continuation of this cycle of pain for you it's about letting it go so this isn't meant for you to be tightening your grip which some of you that is what's being done here it's actually meant to tell you that you're stopping the flow of things and that's where that resistance and where the pain of this experience is coming from because you're not allowing things to play out as they're meant to and this can all be on a mental level you can be like going through the motions and doing it but still feel stuck mentally or like energetically even though physically things may be like playing out you could still just feel like on an energetic level on a mental level i'm still like sort of stuck within this or i'm still sort of circulating within this even though you may not be like behaving in that way so this can be just still something that you're experiencing even if like maybe nobody else sees this you know like that type of thing i think too that this is also at the end of the day an opportunity for you to see that you actually do have what you need as well and that if there's ever a point where you start getting close to a point where you're like oh i do need this thing that is also going to come as well like you're never going to be without what you need and i think also to seeing that is going to help you see that this is not something that you need and when i say need i mean too that like even on a deeper level Even if you had that, you would get to the point of having that and be like, this isn't actually, this isn't actually aligned. As soon as you're willing to loosen your grip on this, I'm seeing that this is going to really make room for things to get to a stable point, for things to feel like there's a sense of a foundation here, for you to feel a sense of harmony that you may feel like you're lacking currently. And I think too, you're going to recognize that you don't need to hold on to these situations. Like you don't need to manipulate situations. If you're, if you do the opposite of that, like if you loosen your grip, you're going to find that things continue falling into place. Like you don't need to go about being the mastermind here. That's just that part of you that feels like not trusting of situations playing out in the way that they're meant to and thinking like, oh, here it is. Like I have to be the one to get involved in this, you know, and have it be this rigorous, unpleasant process. That doesn't mean that you be completely inactive, but what it means is that like when you take action, it's about like figuring out what's motivating you. If you have like attachment that's motivating you here, it's just going to breed pain as you're experiencing currently. But if you're, if you are taking action with an abundance mindset, which like I see abundance as you just having everything that you need, like you're never going to go without that. So if in your head you're making decisions with that in mind, you're going to see everything continues to fall into place. But it's when you're not trusting that, it's when you're not believing in that. And I think too that right now you need a little bit of time emotionally to recover a bit as well because I think you're not really feeling like up for taking the next thing on currently and it's about needing to sort of regain a sense of balance after moving through this because this is not meant to be what I'm seeing is like this door that you're going through this thing that's in front of you that you can hold on to it's not meant to be an opportunity for you to suffer this is meant to be an opportunity for you to actually like gain stability and create a foundation like this feels like an opportunity that's meant to add to the last piece of your three of wands which would be related to like your future and your progress and where you're going and make something stick for you so now you can build on top of it rather than this be something where you feel like it's the opposite of a harmonious experience for you so I, I think just by this like mental switch that you're going to make, you're going to see that 
this is actually working out in your benefit and it's actually meant to help you stabilize something here. Something that was feeling like I just need that one piece and then I'm gonna be able to stick it here and then I'm gonna have like four walls. And I can start working with that then. But because of this sort of like rigorous mental process that you've been going through, mental, emotional, I'm seeing you be at a point where you may not really have like all of the motivation. So it seems like taking, taking the time that you need to sort of tend to yourself while you're in that state is then gonna help you get back on your feet and then move very quickly through this. That's what I'm seeing. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.